Hello, come on out. <laughs> We're just talking. I've got Howard Fleischman here. We are taking a look at your car because you know that it's getting warmer and that means that your car is going through a lot of stress, shall we say. Absolutely. So a couple things we need to look out for. Let's start with the tires because this is a big one. First line of defense for safety in the summertime is your tires. So as you can see on the ground, we picked these up again this morning. On your in. way here. Yeah, yeah. So it's already warming up. Mm -hmm. It's already warming up. For those of you that have not been here for summer, be prepared. For those of you who have, you Now's know what's the coming. Time. Yeah. So I brought a bunch of tires that we could look at. Oh gosh, uh, you have a blanket on that one. That means we're in for a surprise. Well, yeah, that's that's actually off of Patty's car. So uh, right. eleven thousand tire related accidents every year. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, tire has three natural enemies: age, heat, and neglect. Right. Okay. Neglect being the worst. Uh, I want to take a look at this one. Look at this. Yeah. I can't believe you were driving with this on your car. <laughs> this leads to this, this yeah. blowout here. So this, it would have stopped. You, obviously, you didn't have them rotated because this end, this has more tread than this side, <laughs> right? So what? She drives a little Mercedes, which you can't rotate. Ah. But what I tried to bring out with this is most cars have these big fenders now. Mm -hmm. We couldn't see this yes. when we checked the tires till right. we got it up on the rack. Okay. Okay. How often uh, should we be doing a rotation? You should be doing a rotation every 5,000 miles. Okay, so every time you get your oil change, basically. Yeah, unfortunately, a lot of the cars, some cars, you can't rotate. Right. Different sizes front to but back. But that'll, that'll make that tire last longer, though, if oh, you yeah. can. Oh, okay. Yeah. You bet. So some of these, you know, they look pretty decent. Look at that tread. It's pretty good. Wouldn't think that you're going to have a problem. Eek. All right. Camp out on the hardware. So a couple things we need to do is check the uh, the the PSI, check, check the air pressure, pressure. Yeah, and because in the summer you said it, it tends to underinflate, right? right We're underinflated. Right. Okay. So underinflation will cause the tire to heat up, cause the tire to flex, which will give you more danger. Okay. okay? So check your inflation at least once a month, and once do you know month. where to get the inflation number? Uh, well, for me, it's near the door. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go right to the door placard, Bob. Can you follow me? <clears throat> Right in there, it'll tell you exactly what your tires should be at. Mm -hmm. And now they have those new gauges, which is great, where you don't even need your own gauge. You just set that little machine to oh, what it needs to be, yeah. and then it'll cut you off when it's... Cut you off. Okay, it's perfect. perfect. Okay. But a lot of people look on the side of the tire, mm -hmm. and the side of the tire is maximum air pressure for that tire before it's going to explode. Uh -huh. Okay. So if they put it up to that and then go out on the highway and the pressure goes up, tire yeah. is dangerous. And it'll also tell you how old that tire is. The tire has a DOT number, and I've highlighted this a little bit. The Department of Transportation number tells you where it was built, which plant it was in, so on and so forth. The last four digits, right now, last four digits, 2517 means it was built in the 25th week of the 17th year. Okay. Okay. So that'll give you an idea because tires after five to six years are dangerous. So those of you that are out there getting ready to take your toys out, mm -hmm. check the date. If you're five or six years old, get the tires off of there because you're going to be sitting on the side of the road. Okay. Okay. So five or six years. And then if you're going to inspect them yourself, do a tire pressure or a tire depth gauge. Okay. I use a quarter because I'm old and I can't see the penny anymore. <laughs> uh, 330 seconds is when the tire should come off. So if you put this down here, if you could see the president's head, top of the president's head, oh. it would tell you that the tire is no good. Okay. Example. Ah. That tire needed to come off. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. And if you want to, if you're getting ready to hit the road, go into any tire pros. We'd like it to be community mm -hmm. tire pros, but there's 23 tire pros in the valley. We'll be glad to put your car on the rack. Make sure you're not going to do what I did to my wife. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised at you. And check the tires. Well, you know, it doesn't get up in the hoist very right. often. Right, okay. So. Thank you so what, much. What's the Good story advice. of the cobbler and the shoes? Yes, yeah. yes, yes, the shoemaker <laughs> and his shoes. Okay, all right, so thank you so much for showing us. Don't let this be you. You want to check your stuff out now, and then uh, just a couple of easy tricks to keep us uh, safe on the roadways. Thank you. Perfect. Thank all right, you. we'll be right back. Be wonderful.